At the moment, if you delete the WooCommerce product like this one here, and then go to Trash, and delete it permanently, and the problem is that if you go to the media library, then all those images you uploaded before, they are not deleted, and they just stay on the server and take space, which means they are cluttering your media library and server. Therefore today I'm gonna show you a nice solution which deletes all the products images automatically after you delete the product. So if you're interested then dive in because it's gonna take only a couple of minutes. Now to start with it I'm gonna delete those images here. Now let's create a product. For example MacBook Air Give it the price and now I'm going to upload the images. This is going to be the featured image and I'm going to add some gallery images also. Add to gallery and publish. And now let's see what happened. If you go to the server then you'll see that these are the images I uploaded a minute ago. Three images but since WordPress creates variations for every image, thumbnails and so on, then instead of three images, there are 23 images. And now if I delete the product, then all those images will stay there. Therefore, let's fix it. You have two options. First of them, I'm going to provide you a code snippet, paste it to your child team's functions PHP file and save it. Another option is the better one, Go to Plugins, press Add New, and search for Code Snippets plugin. This plugin allows you to paste all kinds of functions and code snippets inside it, and if you switch a team, all those solutions will be there. Otherwise, if you copy the code I'm going to provide you to the functions PHP file, and you switch team, then this solution is gone. So install and activate Code Snippets plugin, then you'll see the menu on the left, click on Add New, Give it the title, for example, delete WooCommerce product images after product deletion. And now paste this code here. You don't have to do anything, just select only run in administration area, save changes and activate. And now let's test it out how did it work. Let's open up media library. As you see, these are the three images we uploaded. Now let's gonna go to the products all products I'm gonna delete the product here and if I open up the, the library as you see the images are still there it's because we have a product in trash therefore we're gonna delete permanently this product and now if we go to the media library they are deleted from here and if we open up the server those images are also deleted from here. One warning though, if you have one image assigned to multiple products, then you have to be careful because the snippets will delete the images from the other products also. If you trash a product and delete it permanently, then all the images are deleted, even if they are assigned to other products. And just to be clear what I'm saying right now, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna add the product. I'm gonna call it new product. I'm gonna upload some random images. This one for featured image and these two for galleries. Add to gallery, publish and now I'm gonna assign one of those images to other product also. For example Beanie with logo. I'm gonna change the featured image I'm going to add this one as a featured image. Update. And now let's see what happens if I delete the product here. For example, I'm going to trash the new product. Nothing happens here. Now I'm going to go to trash and delete it permanently. Then I'm going to go back to the old products. And as you see, Beanie with logo is without featured image. Therefore, this is a warning I was talking about. 
But as you saw, it took only one code snippet to accomplish that product images are deleted after the product deletion. Now before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. And if you want to support this channel, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Meanwhile, take care.